If you guys want to be with a chance to win both the next generation consoles, then make sure you click the link in the description box down below to enter the Arax Gaming Stream Team giveaway. Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here. Welcome back to another video for Monster Hunter World Iceborne. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the new Artemis Male Alpha Plus. That is, of course, the armor you get from the Monster Hunter movie collaboration quest. This one, unlike some of the armor sets like, say, Sakura or Ryu or even like Claire and Leon, this one is not a full armor set, so it does allow you to have individual pieces. It does, however, mean you don't actually get to get that kind of like Artemis look from the actual quest themselves. Not that I think that matters to most people. I think most people just want to kind of be able to wear the armor potentially. But either way, in this video, we're going to take a look at the skills, the slots, and all that good stuff. So if you do enjoy this, then a like will be super appreciated. Comment down below, let me know if you guys have jumped into the quest yourself. What do you think? And uh, are any of you guys going to be watching the movie? Tell me down below. Do you guys want to see it? I'm still going to check it out regardless. I don't expect it to be that great, but I still just want to see monsters on the big screen. Anyway, when you play through this, if you complete the first quest, the first one will give you five chocolate, which is a kind of a strange item, but regardless, you get five chocolate and you need one of each for the armor pieces. So simply doing the first quest, you should just have everything you need to craft the armor. And then outside of that, if you do the second quest, you get Artemis' notebook, which is what you need to craft the layered armor if you would instead rather wear that. Which, let's be honest, is what you're going to be doing because... As is often the case, especially with something like a movie quest, the armor set isn't exactly going to be that great, especially not off the back of having the Fatalis armor, which is busted good. So uh, I can't see anybody really replacing this. But regardless, we're going to go through it anyway, because that's what we do. So the Artemis armor set has two set piece bonuses. First one is a two piece bonus, which is haste and recovery. It regenerates your health as you continually attack a monster. Recovery varies by weapon. Basically what you get on the Nogigante armor. Meanwhile, the four piece set bonus is Great Luck, which has a high chance of increased quest rewards. Outside of that, you do have level four earplugs. So of course, nullifying weak monster roars and reduces the effects of the stronger monster roars. So, you know, only one point away from max earplugs. You have level three stun resistance, level three health boost, level three recovery up. You have level three poison resistance, level two blight resistance, and you also have peak performance, where of course increasing your attack when your health is full. So, you know, in terms of skills, not exactly the worst set of skills, but again, let's be honest, it's not gonna be something you're gonna be heavily gravitating towards. That being said, for those of you guys wondering how the uh, slots fare up, then this is basically what you have to work with. So uh, as you can begin to see, not a great deal of flexibility. I think really what you're talking with here is essentially enough slots to max out the skills you have. So you can push Blight Resistance up, you can push up Peak Performance, that kind of thing, but you don't really have a great number to be playing with. So in truth, you're probably not gonna be crafting this armor, but I don't think that's any surprise to any of us. I think we all kind of pretty much expected. This is more of a fun quest just to jump into to kind of tee up the movie and whatnot, and not necessarily something you'll be taking too seriously. Strangely, you don't actually get to craft her weapon because she has sort of like an interesting configuration where she has like an iron weapon and a bone weapon in the quest, so you can't seem to craft that one. But either way, if you do want that look, or maybe you want at least a piece of it, because the chest piece does look kind of cool. It's kind of sort of got that knight aesthetic to it so if you want to get that then you can of course go over to the smithy and craft the layered version but for the time being that is pretty much it that was a quick look at the armor set for artemis or the artemis armor set hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course be sure to keep it locked because this weekend we'll have another little sort of monster hunter rise recap for some of the new clips they've been sharing so uh, definitely don't miss that Thanks for watching, watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.